Hello Floss Tube. This is Alma the Tattooed Crafting Owl here on YouTube and on Instagram. And this is Floss Tube number 17. Um, today is February 22nd, 2024. And it's been about three weeks since I've been here. Um, nothing much has been going on. Life is life. Life gets busy and, you know... Uh, that's why I haven't been here <clears throat> in a little while, but I have been uh, stitching. I have been stitching mostly monogamously um, with a little here and there. I'm trying to, for some reason I'm stuck, well not stuck, but I've chosen to like only stitch on Miss Cherry Blossom. Um, she is my, I guess you could, you could say she's my focus piece for this month. And I am so close-ish, close-ish to finishing her. And, um, I just, I see the end, the finish line. And I think I'm just going to continue stitching on her, um, until I do. And I guess that's why I haven't really been here because I feel like I don't have much to share, but... Um, all in all, I'm here. I'm back. Um, so let's just start with uh, Miss Cherry Blossom. That is my focus piece of the month. Hopefully I finish it. I have what, like a week left and I'm hoping to finish her <clears throat> soon. And for those who don't know, sorry, my dog is barking. Uh, this is what she's going to look like when she's done she's very beautiful hopefully that there you go hopefully she was in focus um this is what she looked like before and like i said i've been working on her a lot so this is where she is now um like as you could tell Ah, she has a face now. Um, all of I finished her a little umbrella thing. I know it's not called an umbrella; it's called something else. But her umbrella, all those missing stitches there, will be beads. <clears throat> so as you can tell, she's highly beaded. And then I gave her. I went to give her a face. Her face is fully stitched and back um, back stitched so all it's missing is the treasures and the beads which are a lot in her you know her head and her um, little things that are sticking out and then when I finished that I went down to work on her dress so I have most of her dress done. All I need is to finish up this little piece here. Oh, the glare. Finish this little piece here and then finish <clears throat> the back piece of the dress and then these um, ribbon type things. And then back stitch her and um, bead her. If I'm able to finish all the X's, <clears throat> this month I am just going to continue and finish her and beat her for the next month because to me beating is the best part I love the beating I love she's just beautiful so there she is now and hopefully the next time I come to you uh, she will be done so that's where Miss Cherry Blossom is. Again, this is my semi-focused piece uh, for the month. And mostly I've worked on her all month. But I have also been working on one, two, three other pieces. Um, because, you know, sometimes you just need like a, what you call a palette cleanser. So I pulled this one out. I hadn't stitched on it since I first started it. Um, the first time I started it was in Halloween and I, that's the only time I worked on it. So, um, 
It is Halloween Kitty Mandala by Chatelaine. I pulled this out because Maggie from Kitchu Whips pulled her, started hers, and you know you can't give her let her have all the fun. I couldn't let her have all the fun, so I pulled this one out and I stitched on it. This is on Monster Mash by Pictureless Plus, and it's a 28 count. So I'm doing two over two, but there is there are some items that are one over one. <clears throat> I haven't gotten into that part. I, I intentionally, <clears throat> excuse me, intentionally skipped that part because my brain power wasn't, my brain wasn't into doing one over one. So, oh, hold on. This is where it was before, sorry. And again, I do leave <clears throat> hanging threads because I like to just... I want to know where, sorry, I lost the magnet in here, but I like to know where to start the next time I pick it up. I don't want to have to like really think about it when I pick up my project, but this is where it is now. So as you could tell, I did all these little vines. I did the pumpkins, some of the leaves, and then I went in and I did the border because that was easy. and. There wasn't much thinking power that I needed. So that's where it is. Um, it will come out again whenever I... I really did lose the magnet in here. Um, whenever the mood strikes. Whenever Maggie tells me to take it, whip it out and work on it, I think. Um, because it is a really easy stitch. And... Um, I agree with Maggie. She said this is like the perfect um, pattern for a newbie cross stitcher to do. It is really easy. The only problem is maybe the one over one. That's the hardest thing, but it's pretty easy. I liked it. I will take it out sometime again this year, maybe around Christmas time. And um, my next one I worked on was Retreat House. Um, again, this is something that, oh, this is what it looks like. This is something that I am stitching with a few stitchy friends. <clears throat> um, and again, Ray did a conversion of it that I'm going to, I think I'm going to steal from her. So this is where it is now. I mean, sorry, this is where it was before. And this is where it is now. Um, this is on a mystery linen that I got in one of the retreats. Um, I think it's a 36 count. I'm doing one over two. And I think all I did was finish the little chimney and then start it on the roof. And again... I didn't get much done because of Miss Cherry Blossom's fault because she's a beauty and I think that's going to be my finish for the month, but I'm not holding myself to it because um, there's a possibility that I may get bored of her and just kick her to the side until I'm ready for her again. Um, and then the last project that I worked on was Butterfly Beaded butterfly beaded tile I think that's what it's called I always get it confused but that's where what it's gonna look like when it's done and this is where it was before and I didn't get much done I think I was only able to go down the side if I'm not mistaken I'm sorry this is on a 28 count linen hibiscus by Be Stitch Me. And I'm doing every what, whatever is called for. I don't think this, yes, the butterflies are one over one. So there's butterflies that go in between these little things. So those are one over one. Again, probably gonna leave it until the end or until I have brain power or brain stuff, whatever it's called. <clears throat> um to be able to do that but this is where it is i think i only finished this border 
and I worked on it. This should be the last bit and then it just has a little tiny little square like it does here and then that's the how big it's going to be. So it's not that big. I think I can finish it this year um, if I just focus on it um, because this is, I would say it's maybe a fourth done already but I might just be kidding myself but that's where it is now um and those are the only whips that I worked on again this is another reason why I hadn't jumped on and recorded because I felt like I didn't have much to show you but I mean something something I guess um so the next part is haul. Um, the last time I came to you that weekend, I went to Las Vegas and I did, you know, you can't go to Las Vegas without going to Stitcher's Paradise, right? So <clears throat> I do have a haul. Remember, I'm not buying anything unless I go to a, a cross-stitch store or it's like an exclusive that is a one-time, like you must buy now. Um, like market there's a lot that i want but i'm gonna hold off on because um uh i don't need it now i know that they will still be there so i am holding off on that but first before i show you my haul from stitches paradise i did get my fabric of the month by be stitch me and I get, I changed it up. So now I have a 25 count Lugana and this is Petunia. It's very pink. I don't usually use pink, but if anything, I could just ask some of my stitchy friends, Stephanie, that love pink if they might want it, but we'll see. And I do, and then I do get two fabrics of the month. So this is a 40 count Dirty Cottage by Be Stitch Me. And that's what it looks like. I'm not gonna take it out of the bag because it's gonna make a lot of noise. And those are my two fabric of the months from Be Stitch Me. And the next thing is just, um, haul from uh, Stitcher's Paradise. I was good. I haven't ordered anything since then from anywhere. And this is a freebie that I got there. She gave me a freebie. Um, I got Miss Black, whatever. That's her. And then I got, I've been looking at this forever it's not something that I must have like it's one of those that I feel like one day I'm gonna want to stitch her and since she's from where is the year I don't know what year she is what year is it hmm. 2023 it's kind of, I mean sorry not 2023 2003 it's MD69. I feel like if I don't get her, she's going to go out of print and then I won't be able to find her. And that's when I'm going to be like, oh my God, I need to, I need to stitch her. So I got it just in case because I love her. I might, I would change the her colors or maybe just the fabric. I know some people have stitched her on a dark fabric and like a night excuse me, a nighttime scene, which I love that idea. And then I have her. I might, I might just butcher these names because apparently my brain is not working. Apparently my brain never works when I record these. So I'm just going to show you their names. And that's what she, how she looks like. There is another, so these three, and there's a fourth one that I have that I don't know her name right now, but I am planning to stitch them tiny, like maybe 
on a 40 count or a 25 one over one and stitch them tiny because I think they're cute and I won't but these aren't like one of those that like I must have it be huge and like a staple piece in my house but I do want to stitch them and I might I've seen people it's the frame and then it has like four little windows and then they have the piece maybe I'll stitch something like that or I'll just do them into a pillow I don't know yet but I do plan on stitching them really tiny and then because I have all the tiny houses I've only stitched the whatever the Valentine one is called big hearted town I think but I do have all of them and yes I want the new ones that are coming out but I'm not gonna get them yet so I needed this one and I saw it and I got it and then because hello why not I have this one what is this called autumn is so is great autumn is as grateful by Lila Studio Lila Studio and I needed it because I don't know why because hello it's gorgeous and then I got a Gloriana this is for my Japanese, my Japanese something garden, but that's the one. This is the one that I'm making, doing for my son, uh, and hopefully I finish it before he graduates. And I, I just thought it was, I, I was gonna use the DMC, but she had it, and you know, it's pretty, so I did. I got that. And then I got these three, what is this called, sampler? I think these are gentle arts. Yeah, these are gentle arts. H Pewter. H Pewter. I got these because I want to start. Um, I am going to the Queen City, Queen City, stitch retreat in October and the designer guest designer is um autumn lane stitchery Cassandra and Erin and I want to stitch let me make sure I don't show anything I want this is the un the unofficial stitch along for them one of them um one of them uh they have to uh there's another one and if you're in if you're going to the treat you know it I don't really know it it's like a Halloween one or it's the Baba Yaga I think I honestly don't remember which the other one is because I mean I like it it's cute but I'm not gonna stitch it so but I am gonna do Love Birds by Autumn Lane Citry this was I got it from the Just Cross Stitch February 2021 um and I think I I had plant as you could tell I had like you know bent the page because I wanted to stitch it and now they're giving me a reason why to start so I am going to start that one and I plan to do it on my friend Indigo by Indigo 32 count Lugana and this is from Oaks Oak Crown Studios um Amy Fiber Arts Amy this is her this is her company and she has beautiful fabrics that I want all of them but I am going to restrain myself and buy them all when I go and see her that's probably going to be like my main um purchase when I go to the the Queen City I'm just gonna come back and bring all her fabrics because I want to be able to see them and because a picture and I just like to see fabrics mostly when I when I purchase them like see them physically um but I think this is gonna look cute again wedding pit wedding colors were blue and gray so I'm going with that theme <clears throat> so that's going to be a new start possibly the next time I come to see you 
Um, and then I also got picture this plus picture this plus dill, forty count, and it's a half yard because it's beautiful. Um, it's more brown than what it looks like. It's, it shows up green, but it's more of a brown, like a dark brown. But it's beautiful. What am I going to use it for? I don't know. You know, you could always have a stash. And then that is all I got at Stitcher's Paradise. I was good. I kind of had a limit and I stayed within my limit, sort of. Um, so that is all the stitching I have. I have been crocheting. So if you want to stay to, I mean, stay and watch what I've been crocheting, please stay. If not, I will see you next time. But I have been crocheting a sweater. Um, my cousin did tell me that I was crazy for starting the sweater for my first ish project, but I mean, if I'm going to spend all this time crocheting something, I want to be able to either use it, wear it, somehow. Um, so I have been doing a sweater. Like I said last time, I think it's going to be too big for me. But I do like oversized sweaters, so I think it's going to be okay. If not, I'm going to try to like put it in the dryer and maybe shrink it. I don't know. But I did finish my whole front panel. You know? My front panel. These are like the shoulder pieces. And then um, she shows you how to do um, a neck piece. Not a neck piece. Like neck ribbing. But that's that's going to be a later problem for me. So I did, I did finish the front panel. And then I finished my arm. One excuse me one arm piece and I have started the back piece so I mean it's not something that I'm gonna finish anytime soon I will it's gonna be it's probably something that I'm gonna be wearing next winter I'm hoping to finish it by the time I get to uh, by October, which most likely I can, but again, I'm not putting myself a time frame. Um, so I can wear it to, cause I am going to stitch West in the fall. So I'm hoping to wear it then because it gets cold there because I'm from Southern California and it gets really cold there when I'm there, but I was able to get into it. So I'm happy. I will be the guest designer there is hands-on design so I'm excited about that and I get to see all my stitchy besties um, and let's see that's all I've been doing so please like and subscribe you know thank you for for those who are new thank you for coming I should have done that in the beginning but thank you for watching thank you for subscribing um, and for those who have been watching forever, cause you know, I am crazy and I'm not that great at this, but thank you for continuing to come back and seeing and watching and seeing what, uh, I am doing and that is all for today. So I'm hoping to come back within between two and three weeks. Again, I'm not putting my, a time limit on myself because the more I put restrictions on me, the more I tend to say, hell no, I'm not going to do it. So thank you for watching. And again, like and subscribe and let um, your friends know if they want to see craziness, they could come and see me. All right. Thank you so much. Have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye.